sir. Good afternoon. Yes. Kindly introduce to us yourself. My name is Dan Pierce, mm -hmm. and I'm with Braemar College mm -hmm. in Toronto, in Canada. Wow. So, what's Braemar College? Braemar College is a private international secondary school, mm -hmm. um, and we cater to international students mm -hmm. from all over the globe. Mm -hmm. And we have grades 9 to 12, mm -hmm. and we offer a foundation. Uh, university preparation program. Mm -hmm. What are some of the programs that you uh, that you offer? And again, when you talk of secondary education, does it mean when once uh, someone is done with their uh, primary school education, now they have to come for the uh, high school there, or what exactly do you mean? We cater to students from all over the world, so students from um, English-speaking countries mm -hmm. and non-English-speaking countries. Mm -hmm. So we cater for students from the ages of around 13, mm -hmm. so they can start their secondary education with us mm -hmm. and also finish, mm -hmm. uh, or they can come up for experience programs mm -hmm. to learn some English mm -hmm. and experience living in, a, in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, or we also cater for the older students who have maybe they have one, one year left of uh, secondary school mm -hmm. um, or they've just graduated high school mm -hmm. and they want to prepare to go on to further education in Canada into university or college. Mm -hmm. um, so we cater for all ages there and all nationalities and oh. all, all levels as well. Interesting. So what are some of the programs that you offer in the university, or rather in the college, sorry? So we, we, yeah. uh, we offer, um, it's basically a, a high school program mm -hmm. as well as the experience programs which are more English based, um, activity based. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer a more academic program which is um, essentially a high school program mm -hmm. offering all the, the the usual classes that you'd expect to find in a high school. Mm -hmm. English, geography, math, science, these mm -hmm. kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Um, well, is this your first time to, um, to come to Kenya? This is my first time, no, I've been to Mombasa before uh -huh. and it was lovely. I, I came here before uh, for the UNICEF event in Mombasa, mm -hmm. in the, uh, which hotel was it? The Bliss Hotel, I believe it was? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it was fantastic, very mm -hmm. good event. Mm -hmm. um, that was my first time in Kenya. Mm -hmm. This is my second time in Kenya, first time in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Every single person I meet is nicer and nicer than the last. It's oh, a wow. fantastic event. Oh. The UNICEF guys, they can't do enough for us. They're very, very helpful. Oh, wow. um, so yeah, it's been fantastic. Oh, wow. Again, so what made you or what led you to, uh, to choose to come for this particular fair? I came to see you. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh -huh. just very, very organized. Uh -huh. um, there's always, um, not a guarantee, but we're, also, we're, we're very confident of the fact that there'll be lots of numbers through the door, mm -hmm. uh, good quality students, mm -hmm. uh, lots of questions. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that's the main reason. Sometimes I'm a bit nervous of going to fairs that I'm not really sure how many students will come through the door. Mm -hmm. But with Uniserv it's uh, very organised um, and there's always uh, a lot of people to meet, mm -hmm. which is good for us. Oh wow. Again, so um, what, what would you say is your ex has been your experience with Uniserv? You know, now that you've said that this is not even the first time that I've, you've even come for our fairs. So what has the experience been before? No. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, very, very organised and obviously the first time I came here was to Mombasa back in February or March, I believe it was, uh, and it was my first time to Africa, so obviously I was a little bit nervous as well, didn't know what to expect, um, and they got back to me with the emails and preparing taxis and, and uh, I'm sending my flight details and all of these things, so they're just making me feel not only welcome but safe and... Um, yeah, and comfortable in a, in a new in a new place. Really. Mm -hmm. so. Do Do you think um, Do you think working with Unicef has really improved your, you know, like um, the knowledge or people are there aware that uh, this kind of college exists? Do you think that is it's increased your um, your popularity in Kenya? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'd like to think so. Obviously, it's um, it's a slow process, mm -hmm. but um, I think in time we would get there. Um, and all of the Unis Unicef staff they they come by my table. Mm -hmm. If they have a question, they would ask me. Uh, we have a quick chat here and there, so um, slowly all of the staff are learning exactly what we do and exactly what I want mm -hmm. um, from the students. So, um, yeah, extremely, extremely happy. Oh, nice. Uh, now that you talked that of uh, Braemar College has been a secondary school, mm -hmm. do you have any universities that you are actually affiliated or linked with and top universities in Canada? Yeah, we were the first, uh, Braemar College was the first high school Mm -hmm. um, to have a partnership with the University of Toronto. Mm -hmm. oh. So University of Toronto is the number one university yes. in Canada, yes. offering mm -hmm. the most programs. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually, it's actually across the street from our campus. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a very, very good, um, should we say, selling point for, um, for our college, mm -hmm. because the students can um, come to Braemar, feel at home in Canada, mm -hmm. they're inside the, uh, the Ontario education system, 
and we can turn them into the student that would excel at University of Toronto. So we have University of Toronto, York University, University of Waterloo, yeah. um, and there's Ryerson as well, and we have some colleges that we work with. Top ranked universities. Very, yeah. Yeah. Um, so as you're winding up, what are your expectations from this fair? Lots and lots of students. Oh, wow. So um, we're going to give you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm very, very confident, and I know I can go home and the follow-up will, will be done by you guys and, yes. um, and that connection will be there mm -hmm. and, um, and I know I can speak to you as, as friends and, and if there's any issues or any questions mm -hmm. then uh, even though I'm over the other side of the world we can still talk and, yes. and make things happen. Yes. So yeah, very happy. It was nice talking to you Dan. You too? Yes. So oh no, we have to do the Kenyan handshake. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Okay? Okay, cheers.